हेलो स्टूडेंट आई होप यू ऑल आर डूइंग वेल एट होम वी आर बैक अगेन विद अनदर इंटरेस्टिंग टॉपिक ऑफ साइंस दैट इज ह्यूमन बॉडी इन क्लास टू यू माइट हैव स्टडीड अबाउट एक्सटर्नल ऑर्गन्स आईज एयर्स नोज टंग एंड स्किन आर सम एक्सटर्नल ऑर्गन्स विच आर ऑल्सो कॉल्ड अवर सेंस ऑर्गन्स they are important parts because they tells us about our surroundings other external organs are foot legs arm neck chin hair etc all external organs are visible to us means we can see them our skin is a biggest organ and it is an external organ because it is located outside of the body beside these external organs there are many organs which play an important role in proper functioning of body but they are very delicate as our parents handles delicate things with extra care and keep them safe so as our body keep these organs inside it to give them extra protection these organs are called internal organs brain heart lungs stomach these all are internal organs they all are protected by muscles and bones beneath our skin students let's study about brain brain is a control center of our body it help us to think learn and remember the brain works like a big computer it receives the messages from the body through nerves and send messages back to the body all the body parts will not work unless they get messages from the brain like our nose will not start smelling unless it gets command from the brain to smell legs will start working only when brain tells him to do so the next organ is heart it is a muscular organ in most animals it pumps blood through the blood vessels blood provides the body oxygen and nutrients it also helps in removal of waste in humans the heart is located between the lungs in the middle compartment of the chest brain is such an complex organ it is the control center of the body Have you ever thought where does it live? Inside the head there is a framework or you can say structure of bones which is called skull. Brain lives there. The weight of our heart is about half pound. Students, do you know what is the size of your heart? close your fist yes your heart is about the same size as your fist and if there is an adult it's about the same size as two fist your heart beats about 1 lakh times in one day and about 35 million times in a year isn't it amazing human body is having one heart but students do you know that a starfish has no heart and an earthworm has five hearts stomach when we eat food teeth chew and mash it up saliva softens the food our tongue with the help of saliva rolls it into the food pipe from food pipe it goes to stomach there 
stomach secretes gas juices that continues the digestion to process food most of us like eating junk food or fast food very much we think that junk food is very tasty and it will not affect our health but wrong stomach works a hard to digest junk food or fast food so student avoid eating junk food too much otherwise your stomach will get upset and you will start feeling stomach ache lungs lungs are a pair of bag like organs in our body now what lungs do they take out oxygen from the air when we breathe and then it supplies oxygen to the blood stream blood carries this oxygen from the lungs and bring back carbon dioxide from the body cells to the lungs we breathe out this carbon dioxide throughout our nose the smallest unit of our body is cell it is the smallest unit of life carrying out all activities of life when cells of the same type join together it form a tissue and when different tissues join together an organ is formed and when different organs carry out one particular function of the body then an organ system is formed in a human body there are eight important systems each system has its own function digestive system respiratory system skeletal system muscular system nervous system circulatory system excretory system and reproductive system number 1 is digestive system this system helps our body to digest all the food we eat throughout the day to the organs that help us to breathe form our respiratory system number 3 is skeletal system this system includes all of the bones and joints in the body it acts as a scaffold by providing support and protection for the soft tissue that make up the rest of the body next is the muscular system this organ system consists of smooth muscles it permits movement of the body maintain posture and circulate blood throughout the body next is the nervous system this system consists of the brain spinal cord sense organs and all of the nerves that connect these organs with the rest of the body together these organs are responsible for the control of the body and communication among its parts number 6 is the circulatory system this system transport blood and oxygen from the lungs to the various tissues of the body excretory system this system helps in removing the waste from the body and the last is reproductive system this system helps a living thing produce its own kind students you will learn more 
on these systems in higher classes but now let's study some more facts about respiratory system the organs of the respiratory system are nose windpipe and lungs breathing is an important part in respiratory system the taking in and giving out of air is called breathing when we take in air which contains oxygen it is called inhalation and when we give out air containing carbon dioxide it is called exhalation students look at this flow chart carefully during inhalation when we take in air containing oxygen through our nose it goes to windpipe then lungs here blood takes oxygen from the lungs and give it to heart from heart oxygen goes to other body parts and after that blood bring backs carbon dioxide from the body cell to the lungs at last we breathe out this carbon dioxide through our nose the air that we breathe out is called exhaled air now you learn that breathing plays an important role in our life so what should we do for proper breathing proper breathing we should always breathe through our nose because the hair in the nose act as a filter and prevent dust particles from entering our respiratory system so always breathe through your nose number 2 we should not cover our face while sleeping because it blocks incoming of oxygen and escape of carbon dioxide as a result we may feel suffocated so we should not sleep with our face covered one more thing we can do we should go to a park or a garden and do deep breathing exercise in the morning it will help us to feel fresh throughout the day but how can we breathe properly when unwanted chemicals gases and particles enter the air and cause harm to animals and damage the natural cycles of the earth yes the undesirable things present in the air cause air pollution students let's study about the causes and effects of air pollution as we all know that the number of factories industries in the whole world are growing day by day and with the increase of industries and factories there will be an increase in smoke from factories chimney the smoke from the factories chimney contains gases or particles that can be damaging to our health next is burning of garbage students burning of garbage includes plastic and man made carbon dioxide it is the cause of most of air pollution soot from vehicles is also one of the main cause of air pollution breathing in polluted air can cause serious diseases 
like asthma and bronchitis people suffering from these diseases are unable to breathe properly for proper breathing they need the help of inhaler can't we do anything to make the air around us fresh and clean yes we can do one thing we can plant more and more trees but how will it work as we all know that harmful carbon dioxide is leading to climate change trees will absorb carbon dioxide from the air and release oxygen in this way they will purify the air let's study the 10 most important healthy habits for kids children whatever you are eating throughout the day it must include half portion of fruits and vegetables number 2 reduce added sugars added sugar can cause childhood obesity chronic diseases behavior problems and more protein is vital to children's growing brain and bodies and variety matters so you should have a variety of food that is rich in proteins seafood dairy beans peas nuts and seeds are all good protein sources to included in a child's diet next practice good oral hygiene teaching kids to brush their teeth twice a day from a very young age will, will help prevent cavities tooth decay and gum disease keeping your mouth healthy also includes eating less sugary foods especially choosing water over juice and soda next choose whole grains whole wheat brown rice oatmeal and even popcorns are all whole grain foods that deliver fiber and vitamin b in addition to an energy boost next is we should stick to four small meals per day kids if you will eat throughout the day you will not feel desire to try new foods so it's okay if you get hungry between meals when meal time will come you will feel a happy appetite for the nourishing dinner your mother serves kids should get adequate amount of sleep that is 8 to 9 hours every day those who get the recommended amount of sleep for their age are healthier physically mentally and emotionally next water regulates our body temperature helps in digestion and also in excreting waste from the body so we should take plenty of water nowhere is better than the outdoors for running jumping throwing balls catching pulling things lifting and carrying object let's take a quick recall of this chapter in this chapter we studied each part of our body performs a special function cells are the smallest unit of our body different organs that carry out a particular function of the body form an organ system there are eight important system in our body the parts of the human respiratory system are nose windpipe and lungs breathing in unclean or polluted air can cause diseases like asthma bronchitis etc 
Let's do the exercise now. First is tick the correct answer. The smallest unit of our body is tissue, cell, organ, organ system. Answer is cell. Number 2. Food is digested in the stomach, lungs, brain, heart. Answer is stomach. Next, which is the control center of the body? Brain, heart, stomach, lungs. Answer is brain. It is the control center of the body. Question number 2 is fill in the blanks. A part is cells of the same type join together to form a tissue. Part B and dash is made up of different tissues. Answer is organ. C. The air we breathe in is called inhaled air. D. Breathing polluted air can causes diseases like asthma. Last, we should try to keep the air fresh and clean. Answer the following question. Part A. What is an organ system? Answer. Different organs that carry out one particular function of the body form an organ system. Part B. What is breathing? The taking in and giving out of air is called breathing. Part C. Write a short note on the respiratory system. Answer. Nose, windpipe and lungs together form respiratory system. This system helps us to breathe. D. What are external organs? Organs outside our body which we can see are called external organs. Example, eyes, nose, etc. E. Why should we breathe through our nose and not our mouth? Answer. The hair in the nose act as a filter and prevent dust particles from entering our respiratory system. So, we should breathe through our nose. Next exercise is match the following. Students, you have to match the pictures of a particular organ with its name written on the right side. First picture is of lungs. Second, stomach. Third, brain. And last, heart. In this exercise, you have to label the respiratory system. First, nose. Second, windpipe. And the third is lungs. Hots means high order thinking skill. Question is, why is it not advisable to breathe through the mouth? Answer is, because germs directly enter into the body if we breathe through mouth. Now it's homework time. Students, I hope you might have understood the whole chapter properly. So now you have to read the chapter thoroughly at home and you have to learn and write all these exercises in your notebook. That's all for now. Thank you and see you in the next class.